So we need to talk about this brand new style by Noriko. Today we're gonna meet Meryl in the color Icy Caviar. This style was sent to me by Noriko for this review today. You can find it at Wig Studio One if you drop below the video and expand the description box. I'll attach a direct product link there. If you click on the link, it'll take you out to the site. You can see all of the colors and the pricing. Noriko brand is a 30% off at checkout all the time at Wig Studio One. Meryl is a mid-length wavy style. It comes just above the shoulder on most people. And that is really gonna give it a nice natural look and that wispy movement. And Noriko is introducing a brand new type of fiber on this style. It's called the natural movement fiber. It is a blend of the regular synthetic fiber plus a little bit of high heat or heat friendly fiber. Now I do need to caution you right away and hear me when I say this is not a heat friendly style. You cannot safely use your heat tools on it. It's going to move and react like regular synthetic and it's going to be prone to heat damage like regular synthetic. But there is a purpose for adding in some of that high heat fiber or heat friendly fiber. So some of the reasons we love heat friendly fiber is because it has less shine than regular synthetic. It reflects the light in a little bit of a different way, right? Um, I also find that the high heat or heat friendly fiber is less prone to things like cold set and box hair. And it also gives a nice natural movement and feel. So by adding in some of that heat friendly fiber to this blend, you're getting that low shine, that really natural look and movement, and it feels incredible. So when I reach in and touch this hair, Oh, it just feels phenomenal. It has a baby fine texture to it. It's nice and silky, but yet it's hearty enough to give it that natural movement. So the front of Meryl is about 10 to 11 inches, overall right around 12 to 13. And you can see that comes just above the shoulder on me, and I'm short, six and a half from hairline to chin, and only three and a half on the neck. It only weighs three and a half ounces. I told you it was lightweight. It feels silky and lightweight. Uh, three and a half ounces gives you a nice, just average density, perhaps even a little bit on the light side, just because of the fineness of the fiber. It does have some permatease. You're gonna find permatease all throughout this cap. It's not too thick and heavy though. Um, it is the soft pillowy kind, but it's not too thick and heavy. Just a nice moderate amount to keep the shape and style of the wig. And the cap, an extended lace front, left monofilament side part, open wefted sides and back. Well, let's take a look at this lace front up front, up close, because this is a very dark color. And I noticed that it's a very fine knotting process all the way across the forehead there. And you can definitely see through to the illusion of scalp along that monofilament. It feels soft against the skin. So yes, I like, I rather like this lace front. We're gonna take a look at the inside of the cap here in just a moment. I can't wait to get into this color with you, this icy caviar. Now this isn't my color. Everybody knows me as blonde, right? And it's quite a shock sometimes when you see something so deep and dark on me and that's why I wore a little bit of a cool top because this is a cool tone. I also darkened up my eyeshadow a little bit. I think I can pull it off. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. So it starts with that deep, deep black brunette shade. And when I, I see it in different light, it kind of looks different. When I first pull it out of the box, it's an inky black. It just is gorgeous and rich. And then it's subtly frosted with these little pieces of a white silver. And this kind of mimics a natural graying pattern. This is how I gray. So my gray is starting on the top, just a little here and there. And as I get older, obviously a little bit more. Um, but I see these little glints and hints of this white silver in here. And from afar, it just looks like a beautiful deep black. But when you get up close, you can start to see that finely spun silver accent frosting in there that I think looks so beautiful and so natural. And this wave is a choppy, broken spiral when you start about halfway down. It's rather smooth on the crown. You're not going to get a ton of volume on the top. So even with my little hand maneuvers, I was unable to create any lift right there at the front. 
the fiber has a little bit of a forward movement. If you part it right down that monofilament part and go around the eyes, this is kind of how it naturally wants to lay. And I think a lot of you prefer to wear it like this. Uh, one thing I noticed because of this wavy pattern, it really doesn't tend to get into the face too much. Um, in other words, these side pieces don't tend to want to swoop in and cover the eyes, which kind of drives people crazy. It drives me crazy. Um, but in this case, it works out really well and stays out of the face. A look at the inside of the Cat 4 Merrill. Look at that very long extended lace front that runs halfway back through the ear tab, beautifully contoured, and then very, very deep on that lace front. Moves seamlessly into a left monofilament side part. And I can assure you that these little stitches here, they look like little stitches. That's just where the highlight is sewn in. So this is not visible from the outside. Open wefts on the sides and back an extended nape with a pull strap type adjusters. Now this fits very average. I did have to cinch this in to accommodate a petite average circumference. I would say this would be appropriate for 21 and a quarter through 22 and a half inches. The glasses fit neatly and securely between the ear and the ear tab on this style, a nice glasses friendly style. Now again, this is right out of the box with just a couple of shakes. I did swirl around a bit just to set the fiber free, but it doesn't take much. I am adoring the softness and movement of this natural fiber. So let me go ahead and we'll just do some styling. I know that um, it's going to be easy to tuck just because the density is quite nice and quite natural. And there's not a lot of permatease right over the ear tab there either. So it's definitely tuckable. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon right back here at Taz's Wig Closet.